up guys how's it going got some new stuff big box let me show you guys what I got let me lift this up next thing that we're gonna be doing in this video is um, putting these in these go in the front of the engine or in the engine bay and they are from Techno Toy Tuning. They're the front strut bars to make a tri bar. This connects to the firewall. These connect to the actual um, Cusco front bar. Also, what I got was um, very exciting. Some new rear control arms. So these guys are going to go um, in the rear. And they're going to replace the original ones so it's going to be a lot better i'm going to be able to adjust um adjust it um unlike the original ones where you can't adjust so yeah so here's the presco bar that i have um that just goes right across but the ones that i'm going to be putting in go right to the firewall so it makes a triangle so that's going to give me more rigidity in um the front area which is um going to be nice when i'm going around corners and stuff all right, so um, first things first, let's figure out how we're gonna be able to put um, this on right here. Goes like this. So the triangles right here, um, they go forward, and then this big part goes right over where this is. And there's already screws here holding that. Might be a 10 millimeter. Is it? Yeah. So let's just loosen those. As you guys can see, right in there, it just moves around. That's just going to screw into um, the new part. Alright, so triangles go out. Uh, so yeah, it's going to be like that. Okay. Let me take this rack out. Oh, there we go. Okay, so it doesn't wiggle. Good. Um, let's see if it closes. Wonder how that's gonna work. Let's see. Hopefully it does. All right, it closes. Nice. And then hopefully, if I pull this, nice. Alright, so it's gonna kind of look like this. So that's gonna attach to right over there. That just right there. And this bar, it does extend. So you just turn it and it extends. Um, this. If you have a Cusco bar and not the T3 bar, they give you this, which is an option. And I believe this, this thing um, changes with this. So this just screws in here and changes that out. All right guys, so got the um, bars going. Here's one of them already. Um, as you can see, um, it's just, bolt it on right to there which I'm about to show you and then it's just going to go underneath the uh, choke wires and then it'll connect right over there so it's in now uh, so that just bolts up to that side and once you get it bolted in it should uh, the ball joint should let loose for you to allow it to move and I believe you just want to get this hand tight uh, you don't want to uh, strip anything so once it gets hand tight that should be all it takes because all it is is a ball joint in there It's not gonna pull this bolt back out There it goes All right, so that is the small bolt and that is not gonna work So I have to switch the long bolts for the short bolts so hopefully you guys watch this far enough. If you're doing this as well, because you gotta put the long bolts on this side and then the short bolts 
on the actual firewall side. All right, so turns out this is not the way you're supposed to do it because when I check on the other side, it does not fit with the air filter and the carburetors on there. So this is supposed to be on top of the um, loops. If it's underneath it, the drip can't go underneath because it's hitting right over there. Right there. It hits right there. So, yeah, it's supposed to be on top. Um, but it's whatever. All right, so finally got it. It's been a few hours just trying to get these things on there. But here you go. This is what it looks like. Looks awesome. Yeah, so as you guys can see, um, I had to put them on top, but that is the correct way to do it. So just like that with the nut on the bottom and all that. All right, the battery is literally about to die. Uh, see you guys next video. Thank you for watching. Subscribe, like, um, comment if you want to. Thank you. Um, see you guys later. Here it is. All right, peace out.